hello i'm going to be it's pretty early i'm going to be explaining each daybreak killer in under 60 seconds let's get right into it so with android when he detects he can also have a second detect which is more more specific detect he can see percentages on gens and he can see people on gens and when he kicks a generator his terror radius goes away for a set amount of time now with apostate she literally just puts a yellow orb in the circle it's not in the center it's not even that big and what it does is it increases your i believe it's your salvation stacks that or just just cross stacks in general and so with that the more cross stacks you have the more bleed out you gain upon down and if you have max max cross stacks where you're, you have a yellow growing glowing cross then when you when you get hit no matter how many lives you have you're dead banshee when she screams she gains a minor speed boost and she can um oh shit <clears throat> when banshee screams she gains a minor speed boost and makes anybody who is on a generator fail a skill check it removes 35 percent progress and so with that that means when somebody gets downed uh there's this fog it's a there's a fog that that makes it harder to see her for a set period of time and in her upcoming rework like a complete rework when she da kills or downs a body in during that during that scream stage she can scream again so keep an eye on that because that is a huge buff okay so with boss i main him the more people you down or kill the more you shave on your detect aka blood money stacks up to 65 percent 65 um cooldown of uh, detecting <laughs> detection cooldown cd crowbar makes you lunge faster and gives people um an 80 second 20 percent generator repair speed debuff where it just shoots it down by 20 percent and if he brass knuckles his lunge is extremely short but it's really fast now empress she's also getting a rework where it, there is a longer cooldown for missing a lunge when you when you lunge at somebody you get an incredibly fast boost of speed if you make it 45 second cooldown if you don't make it 75 second cooldown your lunge you have to also have to be very careful with your lunge experiment basically same stuff as ghost you start burrowing you can kick a gin and give it cheese you can kick a gin and whatever while you're burrowing uh cheese touch put it push each test on the gen if somebody touches it within 36 seconds or so they explode it and yeah ghost it's another monkey go burr situation where you go into blood phase you get back out when when somebody gets picked up uh you, they they get detected everybody gets detected host trapper basically trapper um when somebody goes down uh 45 percent uh gen repair debuff no the gym repair debuff for 45 seconds idol obsess people when you down somebody who's obsessed get a speed boost you can detect undetectables for two seconds janitor janitor can place this big old circle on the ground called word ground when somebody walks over it they get slowed and they, they can get dizzy and janitor can take advantage of that he can also bonk to down survivors with a cooldown of i believe 45 seconds which removes half of their bleed out and puts them at 50 percent bleed out very good perk very underrated i want to make a guy on him at some point polluted basically just secretes oil if somebody walks on that oil it's a janitor situation they get slowed and he can take advantage of that. He can also kick generators with the oil and make the progress slower. Excuse me. Uh, he can also put it on vaults as well. Possessed. Possessed is in this weird finicky situation. The birds also, also love possessed apparently early in the morning. Possessed can place orbs around. And, and she can teleport to the orb at any given moment. It's not like Star Eater. She can also go no heartbeat. But Daybreak does this weird thing where they announce when she has no heartbeat. So that basically ruins her ability. Principle. I used to main principle in early Daybreak 2 and in late Daybreak 1. He has this extended lunge, which is pretty much shit. It's not, it doesn't do anything <laughs> like it does in Daybreak 1. And to essentially where when he's extended, he can hit up to three people at once, which is rare, and also down people from a further distance. And with his hull passes, once your hull pass becomes red, that means all of that progress is taken off a of gen when that person is down. So, hall pass takes gen percentage. When when he when he kills somebody, that gen percentage is taken. When he, he has a uh, empowered kick, it has a 35 second cooldown. Showstopper place place um slow thing on vault. It used to be a complete blockage when she was Nadia in Daybreak One, but that's literally it. Slasher. He's 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 an OG aside from host. 
you throw a knife, you down people. You make your you make your throw, you get a 14 second cooldown. You don't make your throw, it is somewhere along the lines of 45 seconds. I've seen a 35 second cooldown before, or maybe it's some Mandela effect with me, but I don't know. Stalker, crouch, scare people. People get jump scared by loud ass music that still hasn't been changed yet. More on that later. Star Eater, newest killer. Place a star down. Oh wait, wait, wait no, I forgot to mention with Stalker. Stalker, when you're crouched, it gens get done 20% slower. Stay crouched. Uh, star Eater, place a star, teleport to it when you're within, I believe, 28 studs, very low. And when you are satiated, when you kill somebody, and it has to be kill, when you eat the star, you're satiated for 45 seconds, I believe. Which means you can teleport from a longer distance, and you can... And you and your lunge recovery is, a, is much shorter. Surgeon, I really like Surgeon. I like his kit. Um, when you get an empowered hit, you gain a swift stack. I literally just made a guide on him. When you get an empowered hit, when you make an empowered hit, you get a swift stack. The more swift stacks you have, the faster you lunge. That's pretty much all it is. Unforgotten. I main Unforgotten. I've main Unforgotten since Daybreak 1. Unforgotten can teleport to a locker anywhere on the map. It has a 60 second cooldown. And when they get and when they slow people down with their active ability, and they get they can get teleported to some random spot around the map and they can't and their um and their aura can't be seen for a certain period of time. Their slow is also shit. It's better in Daybreak 1. More on that in my other video I will put up here. Void Shulk, Demogorgon. That's literally it. Demogorgon, you can infect gens and vaults. That's literally it. Uh, Warden, he's getting reworked. We don't know what that rework is currently, but you can throw electricity at somebody. It has AOE. It slows them for a certain period of time. And Watcher, Watcher can just see pe see people's auras. It slows him down. He can't attack during that time when he does that. And he can lock gens. Lo no, he can survey gens. And when somebody fails a skill check on a survey gen, it gets locked. He, he does not have a capped number of gens he can survey. Werewolf, another monkey go bird situation. You you get enraged and your your lunge recovery is shorter. You're a little bit faster. And when you and it's basically Legion. Think of it like Legion. That's pretty much it. I don't know how this is seven minutes and thirty seconds. I probably went over forty five seconds. So let's just say it was sixty seconds. Thanks guys. I will probably be doing a video on the um, killer reworks and stuff soon, now that I have that in mind. You have an amazing day, and make sure you join my server. Please go do that.